Captain Garrett wants to see you in his office, Lieutenant. But he says to feel free to mingle with the other officers first. I'd take him up on that if I were you. I mean, how often do you get the chance to meet the crew of the Enterprise? The best of the best. Then you'll need a medical officer. Some fine work back there, friend. It's not every day one walks away from a brawl with the Klingons. You look familiar, if you don't mind me saying so. Have we met before? Ah, must be my imagination then. You meet a lot of folks serving in Starfleet, to be sure. By the way, I heard you ran into the local wildlife on Taurus too. Right on friendly devils, aren't they? I won't be forgetting those gigantic spears anytime soon. Look me up sometime. We'll have a drink, and share some caveman tales. We were in Starfleet Academy together. Lieutenant O'Hara of the Starship Enterprise. Be the great bird of the galaxy, that's your planet. It's been a pleasure working with you. I didn't enjoy going back to Taurus too, but we got the job done thanks to you. Starfleet First Officers must be my good luck charm. Captain Garrett has requested me for a new logistics position here at ESD. Might not be as glamorous as the Final Frontier, but I've accepted. Until next time, good luck out there. Thanks for coming. I have some good news to share. First off, Fleet promoted me to Admiral. I'll be working with Deep Space Command on several exploration initiatives there. Our ship's going to need a new captain. I've talked it over with Command, and they agree with my recommendation. You. Congratulations, my friend. I know the ship will be in good hands once I'm away. Don't think you've gotten rid of me, though. I plan on keeping you plenty busy out there. 
Congratulations, Lieutenant. Every generation, Starfleet officers hear the call of duty. Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict. But there are many who oppose peace. If the Federation is to be saved from chaos, new officers will need to take up the task of restoring peace. Live long and prosper, Lieutenant. Congratulations, Lieutenant. I have some new orders for you. I've outlined important people you should talk to while visiting Earth's space dock. Speak with the tailor to customize your appearance. After that, speak with the ship vendor to claim a shuttlecraft. Stay safe out there. You have your orders. Proceed. Hello. I don't have anything for you today. Your mini-map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini-map if you are far away from your objective. Welcome. Admiral Garrett said you would come by to requisition a new shuttle. While you're here, feel free to look at the other ships we have available for requisition. I'm here to help you choose a vessel. What would you like to know? Which one were you interested in? here to help you choose a vessel. Which one were you interested?
locations can also be found on your compass as well as your mini-map. I know that being a starship captain is a big responsibility, but I believe you're up to the task. If you feel that your ship is ready for its next mission, I can give you new orders. Stay safe out there. Ever hear of Edrin IV? Jim Kirk got into a tussle with a Gorn there and barely lived to tell the tale. Both the Gorn and the Federation have teams there now. I'd like you to back our new people up, in case the Gorn decide to engage in a little cowboy diplomacy. Stay safe out there. Welcome to the Sol system. All visitors to Earth's space dock are required to fly close enough to the station for our tractor beams to lock onto your ship. Our automated systems will notify you when you are in position. Sector space. Destination. Sector space is the main overworld map of Star Trek Online. From here, you can travel to different planets and systems. Sector space is a no combat zone.
We're reading several Gorn ships on our sensors as well as the USS Zhang Ha. The Zhang Ha is hailing us now. Welcome to Edrin 4. I'm Bridget McKinnon, CO of the USS Zhang Ha. Glad you could join us. My science teams are on site and conducting initial surveys. Apparently, this place is quite the geological marvel. We're not the only ones present, though. Our friends from the Gorn hegemony aren't terribly chatty, but so far they're keeping the peace. Well, I'm sure my people wouldn't mind an extra hand down there on the geological marvel. Feel free to join the party. Captain, the Gorn are scanning us. They might not be talkative, but they are curious about us. Orders? I recommend caution when dealing with the Gorn. They can be easily provoked. We have entered the orbit of Transporter Edrin room to bridge. Captain. The geological team, supplies, and gear are ready to beam down to Edrin 4. Lowering shields for transport. I'm detecting some unusual energy signatures in orbital space near Edrin 4. Recommend we perform a deep scan of each. They could be hazardous. For a moment there, it's nothing, Captain. Thought I was picking up an impulse drive. False alarm. I'll recalibrate the sensors. Don't want to be jumping at shadows here. Captain, the science and engineering teams indicate that they have made it to the surface and made contact with the science team from the Shangha. The rest of the landing party is standing by in transporter room one. They're ready to beam down when you are. There you are. Better late than never, huh? Ensign Skavron, Starfleet Corps of Engineers. Lovely planet we've got here. Charming, even, if you're fond of heat and rocks. Still, it's not a complete wash. To say this place is mineral-rich would be an understatement. My first assignment out of the Academy was on Vulcan, working at a geothermal power site in Shikar. Great people, the Vulcans good at arguments, though all the logic comes off a little dry for my tastes. This is my first deep space assignment, and I'm damn glad for it. Hope we're going to travel to more than desert worlds, though. I hear Ryza's nice this time of year.
Press left to scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. My tricorder is showing some interesting mineral formations beyond this ridge. This looks like a good place to start our scans. Nice to see a report was spot on for once. The mineral deposits here are remarkably pure. This carbon deposit is unusually pure. Apparently the Metrons don't prepare half-rate planets. Whoever gets the mineral rights to this planet will be pleased. Very pleased indeed. My readings indicate there might be dilithium on this planet. I'll need to take more scans to be sure. The variety of minerals in the topsoil alone is astounding. The soil here has a high concentration of sulfur. Either my tricorp is broken, or the soil here has an amazingly high concentration of sulfur. The Gorn! to explain, but they aren't responding to any hails. Way ahead of you, Captain. We're defending ourselves, and our shields are up, which means we can't beam you back to the ship. Afraid you're on your own for now. Over there. There might be a way out of this infernal canyon further down the valley.
We need a way out of this canyon, and I'm thinking that big rock up there is it. With a little Federation ingenuity, we can topple this rock with a makeshift bomb. Once it's down, we can walk across it and get back to camp before the Gorn use the Zhang Ha's science team as target practice. Have you read Captain Kirk's report on this place? We have all the materials we need here to make bombs. They won't be pretty like me, but they'll get results. If you can collect the materials, Ensign Hunter and I will work out where to place the explosives. We're going to need at least three bamboo containers, sulfur, potassium nitrate, and coal. Behind us! Good. Let's take these materials over to the bottom of that huge rock. Right. Ensign Hunter and I will construct the bombs we need to bring down this rock across the canyon. That's the easy part. It's up to you to keep those angry Gorn off us while we work. Hope you're a good shot. Well, at least the Gorn are punctual. Keep them off us! Crush that coal up good, Hunter! Not like that! Finer! Careful with that! Potassium nitrate can react explosively with these materials. Now mix it with the coal. Carefully! I'd rather not get blown to pieces today, if you don't mind. We're just about done!
let's get these bombs in place. Well, now that Ensign Hunter and I did the hard work, it's time for you to pull your weight around here. You need to place these charges under the rock. Spread them out, though not too far. I'm sure you can figure out an optimal placement. The bombs are primed to blow. We should move to a safe distance. Fire in the hole! In the Academy, they said that in the battle of man versus nature, man loses. Well, take that, nature. Absolutely. We should be able to climb that rock just fine. It's steep, but a minor obstacle for us nature conquerors. Just, uh, watch your step. I hope the scientists are all right. The Gorn aren't known for their mercy. Looks like some Gorn came through here. We better hurry. Thank you. Things were looking pretty grim there for a moment. The Gorn. They kept saying the deaths of their people would be avenged, but we didn't do anything. I haven't fired a phaser since the Academy. Glad you're in one piece, Captain. It's clear up here for the moment. Transporters are standing by. Looks like the Gorn have exercised the better part of valor, Captain. But the Zhang Ha's in rough shape. Captain McKinnon is hailing us now. Good to hear from you. Thank you for saving my people. We're making repairs, but it'll be some time before our engines are back online.
are picking up Gorn warp signatures on our long-range sensors here. They're coming back! Press the right trigger to fire energy weapons. Press the right bumper to fire torpedoes. Thanks for covering us. The Gorn would have made short work of my ship otherwise. I owe you one. Slow but steady. Our warp drive is still disabled, but we're making progress. Thanks. I hate to ask, but something's bothering me. We picked up strange energy readings before the attack. It could be nothing. Sending it now. I'd start with the free of the ship that was destroyed. There might be a clue there. The crew of the Shang Ha were onto something. I ran a deep scan analysis of the Gorn debris, and the results are damned peculiar. Gorn ships aren't as tough as a Tellarite design, but our scaly friends know a thing or two about hull plating. Whoever fired this shot knew exactly where to hit them. Not with the data we have now. But the science team just found another strange energy reading nearby. Picking up debris from the Gorn ship and some trace elements of weapons-grade plasma. Sir, I know who did this. It's the Romulans. I'll shave my eyebrows if I'm wrong. It's the Romulans, I'm sure of it. There's more bad news. The Gorn are coming back, weapons hot. Orders? Same ship as before. Doesn't look like they're back at full strength though.
thought we could share this space equally, Federation. Your unprovoked act of aggression against our research vessel tells me otherwise. I see no Romulans, only Federation ships. Do you think me a fool, Captain? Most convenient, Captain. But I am unconvinced. Produce these Romulans that you claim destroyed our ship, or prepare to pay for your crimes. Captain, I've got an idea. If we can generate a charged particle burst, we might overload their cloak. You're quite the clever one, Captain. Too clever, I'm afraid. No one can know of our actions here today. Your death, while regrettable, is necessary. <laughs> Federation. The hegemony will remember the Romulan treachery today, and your assistance in exposing it. I propose we continue our joint surveys of Edrin IV under a mutual non-aggression pact. So there was another player on the field. Nice work out there, Captain. We'll be heading for the closest starbase soon. But we'll be back to finish our work here, along with the Gorn, I'll wager. I think the Romulans will take a pass, though. All decks have reported in. We're ready to disembark on your order. <laughs> 